Salam alaikum. Bité mi kumbuso. Comme net de gel ni comme net de bel ender gal amen net de bel ladi. Pour les mgoire wan na ni ender gal amen. Tu muram am la arate ndey yam. Dañ ñu ko duubi ney. Et yam tu muram am comme ñam gor ko dewul ay yam. Ko kañ ñu jogor no sumte. Ngari mi mbeda walam. To ngari mi do jekkit mom wudiram de jet pichagal. Quand on a mis à la sauvegarde, il y a des gens qui ont été mis en train de se faire. Il y a des gens qui ont été mis en train de se faire. Il y a des gens qui ont été mis en train de se faire. Il y It's, it's a very typical burns patients that we see all over Africa and particularly in West Africa because in the rural areas where they live, there are no electricity, so they make fires in their houses. So that is always prone to burn injuries because the houses can catch fire and when it does happen, they don't have access to proper medical care and they just have to see themselves to the wounds and these wounds can take many weeks, months and sometimes years to heal and the only way that the body can heal it is by pulling the wound edges together. You know, her the back of her hand was was back really far, almost almost to her forearm, and that's because her bones continued to grow and she had scar over the back of her hand. Kumba told me that one of the things she was hoping to achieve is that she would um, be able to be more of a contributor with, in the home and with home tasks, like fetching water and picking up wood for fires, things like that, and also just do a more effective job of being able to take care of her two-year-old daughter that she had at home. The good thing about burn injuries is only the skin that's involved. So it's scar and skin. The underlying muscle, the tendons, the nerves are usually not involved. So that we can release the contractors, get them back in a normal position, and then their muscles can function again. She should be able to flex the elbow enough to reach her mouth easily, and then to extend the elbow enough to have the arm in front of her, so it'll be much more extended, but not completely straight. It's a big surgery with a lot of potential long-term recovery effects. And Kumba's right in the midst of a lot of that. Yesterday we did, huh? You see she's tired today. Yeah, she's tired, okay. You didn't add in the yam. You eat in the bandas on it and the minimum chicken you make jungam go na fata. Um say jungam go wati ligad. She's now almost three weeks on the ship since her surgery. Her wounds are healing very well and we are slowly starting with rehabilitation, but it can take months. It can take three, four months before they get the result that we expected. For 27 years, she has never been able to, to you know, bend these joints in the back of your hand. So, for her to have a fist like you and I have, I don't have those kind of aspirations for her. I hope she proves me wrong, you know? But I do hope she has every bit of what she had before and then she could do so much if she could get something to her hands. Ooh, hasn't done that in a long time. <laughs> Thank 
Kumba told me that her daughter was just going to cry, and I said, no, I think you're going to be the one crying. Nice. <laughs> 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 <